हे मेकर्स दिस इज त्रुवीन एंड वेलकम टू द अनादर सेगमेंट डेटावर्स हिडन जैम सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी विल टॉक अबाउट सम कूल फीचर्स ऑफ डेटावर्स एंड सम हिडन थिंग विच यू हैवेंट एक्सप्लोर्ड इन योर डे टू डे रूटीन फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिलेशनशिप इन डेटावर्स वी ऑल नो अबाउट रिलेशनशिप इन द डेटावर्स टेबल इन डेटावर्स वी कैन अप्लाई मैनी टू वन वन टू मैनी एंड मैनी टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप but when we apply the relationship in our dataverse table what type of advanced setting we need to consider let's talk about that thing in detail with me but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so let's get started over here i have one dataverse table called product and i i have another dataverse table product line items product and product line items are in relationship with one to n now let's check what relationship is being applied over here so i opened my product table and over here i have my product line items relationship so over here if i click on this edit you can see that this is the relationship which is being applied now in relationship if you go to the advanced option you can see three different type of behavior referential parental and custom Have you ever tried to explore these three option what do we mean by that let's try to explore that also with terms of certification as well this is one of the most important topic when you are writing pl 100 and pl 400 certification so let's try to understand this concept in depth so first let's check the first option referential now what do we mean by referential so when we select referential in delete there are two option remove link and restrict now what do we mean by this two option let's see so when you select referential as a behavior and when you choose remove link from here and click on done what happen here is if you try to delete any record from your parent then all the child records relationship value become blank let's say for an example how it behaves so i'm just selecting referential with remove link and now what i'll do is i'll just go to my parent product table which is my parent table so i selected this product table and now i'm trying to delete this record so i'm just clicking on delete one record so it delete that record and now let's see what happen with its child record with client a software service so I already had these two records now I'm refreshing the screen so what happen here is now if I refresh it it will just make this value as blank if referential and remove link option is selected okay now let's do another updates so let me just go to the product table and change the relationship behavior now so I'm going here clicking on edit going to advance and now with referential let's select restrict so now what happen here is until and unless if you have child record available for your table it didn't allow you to delete any record from your parent table so let's apply this relationship and test it now over here i already have client b record and now let me try to delete this record and let's see what it says me it didn't allow me to delete this record because child record are still present over there so this is that stuff now let's go again and check the setting so we check the referential referential with restrict which means it didn't allow your to delete your parent record if child records are available referential with remove link it is remove allow to remove your record but it will just make that lookup value as blank for your child table now let's go to the another option which is parental now what do we mean by parental over here so in the parental case if we try to delete our parent record it will delete all your child record automatically for you you don't need to do any extra effort for that so let's test this feature so i'm just going here and let me just delete this one record from here so i deleted this and let me just refresh this thing and let's see what happens here so we deleted client b and you can see that all those value become blank 
which means that it will remove all your records over there okay now let's check some another settings but before that let me just do some data entry because i deleted everything here so here i did some data entry over here first now let's go to the table and let's check the other type of relationship so i'm going here now from this behavior i'm selecting custom which means your whole custom behavior so in custom there are five different option delete assign share unshare and reparent now what do we mean by all of these options so these are the different action you can perform here for your dataverse table now first is delete now over here uh, there are different option like cascade all remove link and restrict now cascade all what me do we mean by that if we delete parent record all the child record will be deleted if we choose remove link which means that it will delete your parent record but in the child the reference will be removed and restrict you cannot delete the parent record without the child without removing the child record so this is mean by that thing it is clear very simple very easy now assign assign is assigning your record assigning your child record so let's say for an example cascade all let's say for an example if you assign your record to someone else then all the record all the child record will automatically assign to the same user so it is cascade all cascade active means all the active record from your dataverse table will be assigned and your according to that your child record will be assigned it is happening only for your active record now third option is cascade user owned which perform the action on all the related table rows owned by the same user as the primary table row and the last cascade none means it is doing nothing with this behavior then there is a property share now what should happen when primary table row is shared with someone else it is responsible for that thing first is cascade all which is same like this all the uh, child record will also be shared when parent record is shared all the active record will be shared same way user owned so uh, all the related rows owned by the same user as the primary table row will be shared and none means nothing same way unshare what will be happen when you unshare your parent record now reparent reparent is something which is responsible for what should happen when the lookup value of a related table in a parental relationship is being changed which means that what happen if i change something to my parent table like instead of software a service i change this value then what should happen to my all the child record in the another table it is responsible for that and over here as well cascade all active user own and none it will work same as the other three uh, properties right so this is the a uh, type of behavior we discussed so we discussed about referential we discuss about parental and we discuss about custom in custom there are five different action and every action has the similar things over here hope this video helps you and values your time to understand the different behavior property of the dataverse relationship if so make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any training or consultation the website link is available on the channel cover page and don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like twitter linkedin instagram and don't forget to subscribe my another channel digital thruvin as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye